what's up everybody Gilbert Blaze here back with another video now I know last night was night of champions and I see a lot of people doing reviews of it but last night I was at another wrestling show and this show was Chikara Chikara finally made their New York debut and I was there live for it first ever Chikara show for me and this show was freaking phenomenal from start to finish the name of the show is called through savage progress cuts the jungle line so uh Let's get right to it. I'm going to do a review of it. Now, Chikara is still new to me. I've known about Chikara for a couple of years now, but I never really followed their promotion. So I'm still fairly new to it. I'm still trying to get to learn all the people that's involved and uh, how they run the promotion because their promotion is so different. Like I noticed right off the bat, that they don't really have a singles title. Like their only singles title is the Young's Lion Cup. But uh, this promotion is really based on like tag team and trios wrestling, which is very unique and interesting. I love it. Now, with Chikara, I noticed also that you either love it or you hate it. There's a lot of mixed reviews about it. Some people that don't like it, they just pretty much feel like it's just too gimmicky or like it's, just, like it's all about comedy. But to me, I think, since this is like a PG-13 promotion, it's like it, they do it the right way. WWE, we know, is PG-13. But Chikara, they do PG-13 the right way because they do mix characters with great wrestling and great storylines all together and I really enjoy this promotion and I want to know more and more about it and I'm going to get more into it so uh I actually I went with a special friend of mine uh she's known as a ring mistress on here otherwise known as double Miz on here who's a big Joshi fan who should upload a lot of Joshi videos so I got a chance to meet her and she was great to be around and very nice girl and had a great time last night with her and so we was enjoying the show and you know we got there kind of late that we missed like one match so we missed like the first opener which was basically it was um soldier ant and 3.0 versus fists so if you missed that match it went 15 minutes apparently and like some more people were telling me it was a really good 15 minute match it was a fun opener but uh i think uh fists went over i'm not too sure who but i think let me see hmm real quick here yeah fists went over by chuck teller opinion soldier ant so I heard that was a good match. I wish I could see it, but I'm definitely going to buy the DVD when it comes out. So the second match is when I got there, and it was Hollow Wicked versus Ultra Mantis Black. Now, throughout this match, you know, um, Ultra Mantis Black kept saying how he didn't want to hurt Hollow Wicked, that uh, you know, he didn't want to fight him, and he actually, after the match, asked him to join him next month in uh, Dark Cybernetico. But uh, Ultra Mantis Black won with the Mantis Bomb. So it was good. That was a good match. It went at least a good, like a good, um, maybe like five or six minutes or so. But it was a fun match to watch. Now the third match was probably one of my matches of the night. It was a great match. It was Daisy Hayes and Delirious, part of a group called BDK versus Arsenio and Porto. Now Daisy Hayes, seeing her live is interesting because she's such a petite girl, and like her her figure is like she got like she's so in shape. Like you can tell, but like. She just seems like, like, wow, it's like you would never see her as a wrestler, but she is a phenomenal wrestler. I mean, she was going at it. You know, um, the guys were bumping very well to her. So I, I mean, she's German suplex, um, Amazi. It was just really, really awesome. Like, she was doing her thing. She was missile drop kicking guys. She was like, she was doing her thing. She was chopping the hell out of both of them. She did a great job, and it was a fun match. The Syrian Portal got the victory. They did their finish on her. I think it was called the Egyptian Conniption, which was like a top rope um, splash and a leg drop on her which was pretty cool to see so it was a fun match she held her own against the guys it was great to watch now the fourth match was a trios match with the the soul touch a versus uh Liz Dioro, tim dunce and two sides now these names are hard to pronounce folks so let me just get to you that right now these names are extremely hard to pronounce but very interesting names as it is now the 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 Soul Touches came out with uh, Soldier Boy, which I'm like, oh, God. Oh, not Soldier Boy. Yeah, they did kind of Soldier Boy with uh, the Superman song. And I'm like, oh, God, not that song. I hate it. <laughs> but it had a crowd. You no, know, the crowd was amped up for it. And let me tell you about the crowd. It was extremely crowded in this place. It was at the Warsaw in Brooklyn. And um, it's a, it's not a, I don't think it's a, a venue for wrestling, but it didn't really hold that many people and it was probably like five rows of seats that's it and everybody else was standing so since I got there late I was standing for the whole entire show and like, my legs were killing me like I was in so much pain standing for all those hours but uh now I was trying to block out the pain because the matches were so good like, the card was so great 
but uh, and I also noticed too with the crowd there was a lot of senior citizens and uh, mentally challenged people there which I've never really seen that many of them at a wrestling show before so it was a really like interesting mix of wrestling fans there and uh, the, the, the crowd was quite interesting it was very interesting to be around but uh, yeah back to the trios match this was a fun match because one of the guys I mean his it's a, it's a big like he go he has like a Dusty Rose kind of gimmick with like the urban he's like the urban um the American dream and so uh, I think his name is Willie Richardson so he basically did the pounce on uh, Lince uh, Dorio who's like a really short like smaller guy and so it was pretty <laughs> it was I felt bad for the guy but he was getting his ass well but it was a fun match and like the the good guys went over so uh, definitely that was fun now we had like a 20 minute intermission. And during that, you know, I was walking around, you know, trying to, like, feel my legs again because it was, like, getting kind of numb. But then after the match, after the intermission was over, you had an Eddie Kingston versus Aries. And Aries came out with Delirious, which is apparently his pet, he's calling them. So, uh, it was, I love Eddie Kingston. You know, a lot of people, is either hate him or you love him. And I'm a big fan of Eddie Kingston. So, every time I see him live, I, I, I enjoy him. But, uh, he didn't go over in this match. Like, uh, Claudio Castanoni came out, gave him distraction, um... Delirious came out, hit him with a chain. So uh, uh, um, Aries got a schoolboy on him, and beat him. But uh, that, that was, it was an interesting match. It was it was fun to watch. And after the match, you know, like Kingston went on a rampage. He tried to take a couple of chairs out the audience, uh, throw people. It was it was funny. It was funny how he was like just like do like, do like a big temper tantrum, you know, classic Eddie Kingston there. So um, next match, you had another trios match. A team of the feature is now featuring Equinox, Jigsaw, and Helios. And I guess uh, Equinox is a uh, Colin Delaney's brother against the unstable Stigma, Colin Delaney, and Vin Gerard. Now, uh, this was a fun match because you know, I had a lot of like, you know, had a lot of like, high spots and you had a lot of like fast paced action. And um, apparently, like, the whole storyline for this match was, you know, Colin Delaney and Equinox, they weren't on speaking terms. They had like a fall now or whatever. And I guess people have been wanting them to get back together or they've been trying to like, like get through their differences. But, uh, Towards the ending of the match, um, you had, um, I guess it was um, um, Delaney, um, Gerard told Delaney to finish off his brother, and uh, you know Delaney, um, Colin Delaney couldn't do that, so he ended up helping um, Equinox basically uh, hit his um, um, finisher on Gerard, and then uh, I guess it was a it ended up in disqualification because I guess they found out that you know Colin Delaney helped him out, so he low blowed Equinox, and then. Uh, how Colin Delaney got a low blow done on him, so it was a big disqualification, but it was a fun match. But at the ending of the match, you had uh, you know, um, the two brothers. They were like looking at each other, and everyone was like starting to chant, "Hug it out, hug it out, hug it out." And so Equinox went off, but then Colin Delaney stayed in the ring, and then all of a sudden you hear Britney Spears, Toxic comes up on a loudspeaker and I guess that was the show that broke the camel's back supposedly and it got them both to hug it out and to squash all their beef you know uh, uh, Equinox took off his mask and threw it around and then uh, you know, they basically I guess they're back together again now they squashed the differences which was fun it was nice to see that so then the next match you have for the Young Lions Cup Frank Mayer the champion versus Pinky Pink and Sanchez and you know my first time looking at Pink Ant and I gotta say as soon as he came out with the whole pink, I was like thinking, oh god, pink dust, pink dust, he needs to be with pink dust. <laughs> so, it was pretty cool though, like, pink is pretty, is a, is a pretty cool guy. He had the crowd just hating him so much. He had him in the palm of his hand, like, he was really getting a good crowd reaction, you know, with all the heel heat he was getting. Um, Frank Mir is a, is a, is a, is a good wrestler. You know, both guys are like very, like, like extremely cruiserweights, I would say, you know, in size. And it was a good fast-paced action match. It seemed like all these matches were very fast-paced, a lot of high spots. Was just, and he had a good technical wrestling in most and some of the matches as well too. But basically, basically like more high spots, fast-paced action throughout every match. But this match was no different. And um, Frightmare retained uh, the Young Lions Cup with his finisher. He calls Nick Hospital. I can't even say the name right, but he basically does a standing shooting star press. But he lands on the guy with his knees, which is pretty pretty like devastating move there. So he he retains the Young Lions Cup, and now on to the main event, the the match, which is why I wanted to go to Chicago to begin with to see Miami Toyota and Mike Quackenbush versus Toyota Ray and Claudio Castagnoli. Now I gotta say, I'm extremely shocked that Toyota has never made a U.S. debut before. I mean, she's been wrestling since 1987, 
and yet this is her first time ever in America. I'm shocked by that. I thought she would have been had made a few appearances in America, especially back in the WCW days when they were bringing a lot of Japanese women. You know, they had Akira Hokuto and a lot of other females. You know, Buda Kano was there as well, and um, I'm surprised they never had her. You know, brought her over to you know WCW. But nonetheless, this was a good match. Now, I was trying really hard to be a fan and not act like a critic while I was watching the match because I noticed with Toyota, she wasn't really selling any of Sarah Dover's offense. I mean, Sarah was hitting her and she was like really like some kind of, sometimes like not, like not, just not selling it. Like she wasn't even bumping that much either. Now, maybe that's her style of wrestling, but I kind of was getting a little annoyed with that because Sarah Dover is such an extremely good wrestler. And it's such a powerhouse, you know, at least sell some of her moves, make her look credible. But I guess, I guess, you know, Sarah was playing the, the ultimate heel and, and uh, Toyota was playing the baby face. So I guess she was in that sense, was not trying to sell her moves. But it was still a good match nonetheless. Claudio and uh, Toyota got into it as well too. And, you know, Claudio did the giant swing on her, which was, I thought it was like, wow, it was awesome to see. And then she did her signature move on him. And uh, it was really good. Like she was hitting them with missile drop kicks and... She was doing her thing, she did her moonsault, and you know, every like spot that she's going for, she did. And it was like the crowd was just marking out, popping hard for this match, they were all into it. It was a fun match, it was a great main event. Mike Quackenbush, I can't say enough good things about the guy. The guy is such an amazing wrestler, I mean, he really is. He has his haters, but I think the guy is like, he's, he's gold. I mean, he's, he's, all, he's so good in the ring. Every time I've watched him, it, either it was in Dragon Gate, or wherever other thing I went to see him at, he's so good. So, of course, the baby faces have to go over here. You know, uh, Toyota went, um, did the Chikara special on Cerro del Rey, made her tap out. Match was over, but it was a fun, fun match. And I got to say, the two uh, ring announcers, Gavin Loudspeaker, great ring announcer. And then you had the heel um, ring announcer, Jacob Hammermeyer, I believe his name is. He had like this kind of, um, like, he's like a German guy who's translating everything in German. That guy is solid. I mean, what a good character he is. He can really get heel heat from the crowd. I like him a lot. I was enjoying his work. So I'm definitely going to buy this on DVD. I'm going to start buying more Shikara DVDs as well because I need to get into this promotion. I really enjoyed what I saw. They're actually coming back to the Raw Saw. I don't know when, but they're definitely going to come back, and I'm going to go to the next show as well. And this time when I do go, I'm going to try to get there extremely early for a seat because this place does not fit a lot of people. But a lot of people was there, and a lot of people were standing, and I'm not going to be one of those people standing again. So <laughs> definitely when this DVD comes out, check it out. Great show. Hope everyone out there enjoyed it. It, looked, it seemed like they enjoyed it. Met a few other YouTubers there as well, but it was so hard to meet people because it was just so crowded and just trying to walk around it. But uh, it was a fun show, and I'm definitely going to get more into Chikara because I really enjoyed this promotion a lot. So that's my review of Chikara. First ever going there. Fun night. I know everybody was watching Night of Champions, but could care less about that. Yeah, I heard Orton won the title. Glad that Daniel Bryan won the title. Michelle McCoo's a new unified women's champion, big surprise there. But Cody Rhodes and uh, and um, Drew McIntyre, the new, the new United, the unified tag tag I'm champions, which I'm surprised by that. I mean, I don't really understand that. But we'll see what happens in the world tonight. But anyway, back to Chikara. Great night, good action, great wrestling. Definitely can't wait to see Chikara come back to New York. Check out Chikara. Great promotion. People should, should support it. All around good cards. So that's me. That's Gilbert Blaze. I'm out of here. Peace.